I love me. God's good. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Yeah. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Uh huh. I know you like it. You gon' play that back. Yeah. I know you like it. You gon' play that back. Uh. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Yeah. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Uh. I know you like it. You gon' play that back. I know you like it. You gon' play that back. Yeah. Shout out to Speak Morning. All right, bro. So, what's the name of this gym? This is Whatsoever Boxing Club. All right. What's your boy's name? This is Coach Eddie Gillian. Yeah, Eddie, tell me what's up with this gym, man. How long you been here? Uh, I've been here for about 11 years. I started off as a fighter first, and then from there I transitioned to the head coach now. And whatsoever is the oldest boxing club in the KC metro area. That's We've been here sure. since 1941. So, I mean, we've had many national, a uh, lot of champions come through here, Kansas City Golden Gloves. And, you know, we're, 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 we're trying to keep Kansas City Boxing Live in actually Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah. So what weight class was you in? Uh, I was a heavyweight, and then I went to super heavyweight. Uh, I won four Kansas City Golden Gloves, two at heavyweight, and two at super heavyweight. How you link up with Uno? Uh, Uno came down here to the gym, told me he had history. And like everybody that comes here, everybody has history or whatsoever. Every, everybody some way, somehow knows about whatsoever, whether it be the grandpa, because they came here, the dad, somebody, everybody knows about this place. Man, that's what's up, that's what's up. So, what's big, any big known, like, fighters that you know of that came, that, you know, came through here, like Uno, and had a, you know, real good, solid record? You know uh, I, mean? I mean, apart from Uno, we also had uh, Ray Rivera, he's mm -hmm. one of the great boxers from out here. We had about 300 amateur fighting national champion. We had Jesse Aquino. That used to be coached by Coach Esteban, the former head coach here. Um, we've had great coaches come through here, like Ray Rivera Sr. He was my head coach. And we've just we've had a lot of regional champions come through here. We just recently had a silver medalist at the National Silver Gloves about a couple weeks ago, a nine-year-old girl. So, I mean, we're really just trying to build it back up. So give me a little bit of your, your history, Uno. You know, coming here, you know what I'm saying, your workout routines. Give me a little bit of your history. Well, I started here in 1992 boxing for Steve, when Steve Leone, may he rest in peace, uh, he was the original coach that taught me. And I started in 92, and obviously I went away for a while and lost some years. So I just, you know, I'm, 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 I'm on a positive path, put God first, family second, boxing third. And I decided to, that I want to at least go out a winner and have a fight or two. And I came down, talked to coach, and I, and coach knows his stuff. And he said, man, okay, well, come on, let's, let's just, you know, put some hustle behind the muscle. And we've just been working ever since. And he shows us love, and he coaches my son. And, man, it's just been a, a, a beautiful chemistry down here. What's the, what's the age range on kids here? You know what I mean? And they come in at, like, seven you know, what's the like? I take I take starting at six years old, um, just as long as they can listen and just listen, just listen. Because at the end of the day, boxing is the toughest sport you'll ever do. Boxing is not a team sport. You ain't got no friend. You ain't got nobody pushing you. No. At the end of the day, it's gonna be you and another man inside that ring. So you gotta have it. You can have all the talent in the world in boxing, but you gotta have heart. You gotta have heart for the sport. For real. Yo, Uno, what can you? provide for the kids that come here? What can, what lessons and, and what style do you, you know what I'm saying, you bring to the plate? Well, actually, like, honestly, like, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter, but I, I got street power, you know? So that's why I had to use the coach to really help me bring out my ring power, more how to sit down on my punches and things like that. So honestly, I'm not, I'm not a coach, but I, I want to get into that. When, when boxing, when these couple fights are done, I want to be down here helping coach anything. If it's, 
helping the kids, if it's sweeping the floor, I want to help him give back to the community one way or another because this is where I started my boxing career and this is where I'm going to end it. That's right. Shout out to uh, David Jordan who couldn't be here today. We was going to ask him a couple questions about the newspaper and, you know, shed a little light on what we're doing. You know what I mean? So uh, we're going to conclude this. Uh, final thoughts about the Golden Gloves movie that's about to come hit Kansas City by storm this summer. You know what I mean? What, what can the viewers expect from this, Uno? I don't want to tell all of it, but this movie and Blue Line Studio, my man Edwin Talaferro, man, this has been a blessing to me because through this movie, I've already got another movie deal. We're flying out of town. I'm getting paid. I got a book deal. I came a long way for a guy who was in a cage a year and a half ago e eating ramen noodles with no hope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So the next time, speak on it. It's your boy, Ed, Uno, and the coach. What's your name again? Eddie. 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 All right. Page two. Okay. okay. Good YouTube, Blue Line Studios back at it again. We're about to have more music videos, more interviews, more shows, and more movies coming soon. Alright? Peace.